what we did was we built a really, really boring workflow, but one that's really useful because it um, does a lot of um, uh, so far manual steps. And what it does is it deletes data. Um, and it does that when we get GDPR requests, like, or when users say like, hey, please delete everything you start about me. Um, then we technically have 30 days to comply with this. But as you can see by the number of nodes, we have like a large number of services um, I've listed them in Notion if you're really curious of where we, we all have data, right? So, and we need to go to each of these services and delete the data. So our goal was to automate this and also to lock this. So um, let's actually show you how it works. Wanted to build a nice UI if we had some time left today and also <laughs> nice in general, but as always, there was no time left today. So uh, this can be triggered in a really simple way. Let's just um, put it in using a metamouse slash command, GDPR delete, followed by the email address. Um, like, let's take an email address. It definitely does not exist. <laughs> Do not want to delete any production data from anyone. Um, and you can see the workflow runs, and it will then contact every, every individual service. And um, uh, what makes this so handy is that all of the services, it deletes data from a sub workflow. So they can easily be swapped in and out. What we did when we started working on this project was we um, agreed on like a format for handing over the data to these uh, sub workflows and for how the response data should look like. So we can easily just add new modules as we connect to new services or remove existing services. And um, at the very end, like, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, you can probably guess it from the note description. At the very end, it just aggregates the result it has from every single node. Most nodes will run faster. Pedal is just very slow. So this is not very exciting. It will take like a minute for Pedal to um, find the user. And um, I won't even delete the data. We'll just share information on how to delete it. You can see the other nodes are much faster. Um, and at the very end, it creates like a, a small report that I can respond to in MetaMost, but it will also um, lock the action in base row. And the way it does this is it creates a hash value of the email, so a value that essentially is a unique identifier for the email, but then can only be calculated in one way. So if a user ever comes back to us and say, hey, why did my data got deleted? We will still be able to figure out that it was deleted as a result of a GDPR request, but no one will be able to use that hash value and calculate back the email of the user. So we have anonymized data that goes in a simple uh, lock like so, right, we store like this a number that hopefully no one is able to identify. Um, and we'll also keep a notes of the services where data has been deleted. Obviously, nothing has been deleted here because our user was just an example user. So this was essentially a very aggressive workflow for me because it makes my life much easier because I've been handling these GDPR requests so far. And thankfully, Tomasina and John have helped me with this. It was also a really cool project to split up because everyone could look at individual services. So looking at these sub workflows, they all look very different. You can see like a really simple one, for example, would be the pedal one, uh, which uses a bit of JavaScript logic. Then a really um, complex one uh, was one of the, the ones John was working on, the MailChimp one, just because the API has many steps. So you can see how there are very, very different uh, workflows that handle each of the steps, but they all fit together nicely by agreeing on some standard um, where you can just easily add new services and remove them. And that's pretty much what we did today. Um, uh, you can look at the workflow if you're curious. Um, you can also see the data in base row, which will be self-explanatory at hopes, I hope, because it lists the services where data has been purged from. And you can also ask us if you have any questions on this. <laughs>